creation comes from absorption. Once you're exposed to anything that you find interesting personally, you can turn it into something of your own and then you can create from this. I guess a lot of my work's based in travels and being other places. I like that connection, getting out there and getting on the road, and it's a great part of the process. But I guess I do see it as a means to an end in making a product out of it. I hate the lowest hanging fruit. It just doesn't appeal to me. Like I have had my head kicked in trying to make shoots happen where you really lose your dignity, you're a second class citizen. But when it comes out, no one knows that. It's like, okay, cool, it's done. We didn't have to work with department stores. We didn't have to go to a bank and ask for a money loan. We didn't have to repeat the best selling item from every collection because that's the commercial way to do it. By choosing to be independent and by choosing to make our own path, we've had such an amazing time, such a cool trip. How much credit we get for it at the end of the day, you know, can't be the main objective for us. The main objective is to ensure that the, the end product looks absolutely spectacular and that we're constantly breaking new ground. I mean, it's, you know, it's a creative product that drives us fundamentally, not the fame. Even though we're using the computer to create the, the architecture, we also try to look at ways of distorting the program so that you get something that's a bit more uh, organic. It's half pain but in the same time it's half pleasurable because you are able to perceive in advance you know, what's going to be the nice little touch. So much of what I do is I literally just am working on all these things almost at the same time, you know, so I'll be putting my books together and stuff and then my guitar's there and I'll pick it up. Songs have been written sparked by like something, a feeling that, you know, a photo that I've been working on. It's not like I'd switch from one thing. You know, you find inspiration in so many different ways. You know, living in New York, there's just millions of people and, and the sharing of ideas is part of the reason why people want to be there. Any, anything that people are working on, there is a certain um, dedication to doing it beautifully and doing it really well the first time. Coming from a punk and sort of DIY background, it wasn't so much about learning or perfecting anything, it was just about doing it. But it also, it was like that, it's that idea of like not waiting for someone to tell you it's okay to make something. I have like piles of that stuff and you do too, like just piles of things. I've never been much of a believer in the old adage that the picture tells a thousand words, so I actually really appreciate the opportunity to give my pictures some context. It's an excellent opportunity and a, a great uh, forum for that. A lot of young, particularly young talent, that may not necessarily be attracted to what they see as traditional advertising models, so for us it's an opportunity to put forward what we think is a very different way of working, which hopefully from their perspective is quite an attractive way. I think one good thing I've always had is fake it till you make it. You're only as good as what people sort of consider you to be, I guess. If you say you're all that and you can actually learn how to do it, then you just, you do it, you get your foot in the door and then just work it out later. You don't see people's emotions, you know, you get emails and you get messages and you can only guess what they look like in that moment when they watch your work. But like seeing the faces in the audience and like smiling, laughing or you know kind of opening their mouths you know in astonishment was this is what I work for. I mean I you know this is my aim when I create an image.